Hello, and thank you for joining us today for our webinar on a Com Data Virtual Card for J.D. Edwards. We have a great agenda planned for you today. We're going to cover the J.D. Edwards Com Data integration and what that functionality looks like. We're going to talk a little bit about who is Com Data and um, their products, and as well as their corporate card. And at the end, we'll answer uh, any and all questions. My name is Laurel, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by Dan Barford, a Vice President here at Terillium, as well as Jason Haney, a Director of Strategic Partnerships at ComData. I'll quickly review how you can participate in today's webinar. You should see a panel like this on your GoToWebinar screen. Um, at any point during the webinar, please send in any and all questions, and we'll make sure to handle those at the end. Before we get started, I want to quickly review, um, introduce you to Terillium. If you're not familiar, I see um, some people on that I think know us, but for those who aren't familiar with Terillium, we like to say we know J.D. Edwards. We've been in the space for um, now 25 years, actually celebrating our 25th year in uh, 2019. So we, we help businesses with any and all J.D. Edwards projects, including implementations, upgrades, managed services, special projects. We've, our team is um, award-winning. We've won 15 Oracle Excellence Awards, and we have over 170 full-time employees across the U.S. with an average of 16 years of experience. Um, our team is a global, leads globally as far as J.D. Edwards upgrades. Um, our, we have a dedicated managed services team who um, has had a customer retention rate of 100% the past couple of years. And overall, we've helped, helped over 700 businesses with their JDI words and ERP needs. With that, I'll pass it over to Dan Barford from the Trillium team. He's going to talk a little bit about the Com Data and JDI words integration. Hi, Dan. Welcome to the webinar. Good morning, Laurel. Thank you. So one thing that I wanted to cover quickly is to kind of describe what this integration looks like so that anyone on the call can relate what ComData provides to their current J.D. Edwards environment. So if you go to the next slide, Laurel, um, this kind of shows a diagram. This is more of a technical diagram of what the integration looks like. And this is something that we've built and it can plug into your existing J.D. Edwards system. It interacts directly with the accounts payable process, so there's no modifications required to AP. Uh, it just requires a, a different payment instrument to designate that the payment type is going to go to the ComData virtual card file needed to send that uh, initial request. Then. ComData will provide a response that we can then bring back into the system. And if you have a, a reconciliation process, we have a, the ability to, when the customer actually, or I'm sorry, when the supplier accepts that payment, it will return a result that automatically brings in that and will reconcile to the original payment. If an auto reconciliation is not part of your process, you have the option to manually reconcile like you would uh, for any other you know, AP process. Go ahead, Laurel. So what this screen that you're looking at here, this is actually a custom screen that we built that also keeps track of the com data transactions. So as a payment is processed and that file is created and sent over, a record of that is kept here and it will tell it will allow you to manage that and understand the status of the transaction. Was it sent? Was it confirmed? And then was the uh, corresponding payment then brought back into the system? Go ahead to the next slide. Additionally, it produces the output that you see here. So this is similar to, you know, like a check register. It, it explains who the vendor was being paid which invoice numbers were impacted on that and all the details behind that check run. 
at the end, you know, say you have multiple suppliers set up to go to the com data payment option. If you go to the next slide, the, the last page of this report is a summary that gives information on the transfer of the file and a total of the number of transactions and the number of payments. Go ahead to the next slide. So because we have this all pre-built and it does rely on some things to be set up in JD Edwards, for example, we'll take a look at how you guys have your suppliers configured, making sure we can get access to the right information. There may be a few things that we'll have to look at in terms of mapping out detailed information but all of this can be accomplished within a couple of weeks. So once we have access, we can install the, the objects involved and immediately be available to start unit testing some things, train the accounts payable team or whoever will be responsible for doing this process going forward so that they can begin doing some testing. And then once that's complete, it's, it's ready to go live. What's nice is Com Data provides a test environment so as we're going through and validating that everything is mapped correctly and will get sent across correctly, we're sending that to their test environment and then gives us the confidence we need to, to take it live. Next slide, please. So this solution that we have is compatible with Enterprise One version 9.0 and higher. If you're on an earlier version, we can still come in and talk about what options are. Essentially, it's just a matter of building that flat file output that's very similar to an ACH file. But if you're on 9.0 or later, then we kind of have a plug and play option to install our solution and be up and running in a couple of weeks. Next slide. So at this point, that's kind of the overview of the solution. I'm going to turn it over to Jason, who's going to go into some more details about Com Data's solution specifically and, and give you an idea of what this all means in terms of these payment options. Appreciate so, it, Jason. Dan. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate everybody's time hopping on the line today. I'm excited to be able to run through this information with you all. Um, we have several slides that I'm sure that we will pass to you all in PDF format after um, this webinar, um, so please don't feel the need to uh, rush and take notes. I'm going to try and keep this more high level than granular. Um, and please, um, you know, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them towards um, the, the end of, of our presentation here. So I've been with Com Data uh, just over five years now. I spent my first four years as a direct sales rep. Um, so I've been in the building a while and familiar with this partnership, but in the last year or so, I have assumed responsibility for the majority of Com Data's commercialized partnerships at the national level. And one of those relationships that I have become responsible for uh, is the Trillium relationship. And I've enjoyed getting to know Dan and Laurel um, throughout the last year, working with them on this tool and presenting it to new prospective mutual clients. So Calm Data has been around a while. Um, we're going on uh, 50 years um, based out of Nashville, Tennessee. About three years ago, we were acquired by Fleet Corps, which is a publicly traded company uh, out of Atlanta. Multi-billion dollar organization. And we do a bunch of different things. But what sets us apart um, in this space in particular, I believe, is the fact that we are a fintech company. We are not a treasury bank. Um, and that's very important because virtual cards and or physical plastic commercial cards is literally all that we do. It's not an ancillary line of business like it would be at um, the Wells Fargo's, um, the, the JP Morgan's of the world, et cetera. So we have to make these programs successful because it's how we make our money. Um, we focus heavily on partnerships with ERP providers and third-party integration partners who build um, these integrations, maintain these integrations, and help to introduce these integrations to uh, a client base like the relationship that exists today with Terillium. And, and that in and of itself is special because it makes the onboarding experience um, for a company who's thinking about turning on a virtual card functionality much easier 
um, than it would be if that type of relationship or that type of integration wasn't in place already for the ERP that you're running today. So this is the, the pat me on the back slide. We don't need to go through um, specifics here, but really what I want to convey is that um, we move north of $60 billion a year um, in card volume uh, in payments throughout uh, North America. So this is a, a very large volume business, um, but what we've got really good at doing is implementing these virtual card programs in a nimble, successful fashion. Every time uh, a virtual card client comes on board with Con Data, um, they are uh, assigned a, a number of direct points of contact here. Um, so although you get the resources that come along with choosing a provider that's as large as Con Data, uh, you get the the attention and um, the focus um, that you may not get with some other larger firms out there in the space who are doing other things uh, rather than just virtual card. We're actually not, uh, MasterCard's number one uh, issuer of, of virtual card in North America, north of $30 billion alone in just virtual cards. So that's a massive amount of volume. Uh, I think it speaks you know, more so than anything else to our capability and to the fact that thousands of companies across the U.S. of all different sizes and all different verticals um, trust us with this type of program. Like I said, when it comes to CARD and it comes to our solutions placement, we do a number of different things. We're obviously not going to go into the specifics of every little thing that we, we offer here at Condata, but um, for the sake of collateral to be passed to everyone on the line after this webinar, I wanted to give you guys an idea of, of the field that we play on, if you will. Um, we help a number of different firms in a number of different ways. Virtual card, although I would call it our flagship solution, um, what makes the sense for the most amount of companies that we come into contact with uh, is complemented by a number of other things. But today we're going to focus specifically on that AP Automation tab that you see uh, all the way to the left. So, Oftentimes, uh, throughout my role as a direct sales rep um, in my first four years here at Comdata, I found there to be a massive education piece uh, when I was talking to a company for the first time. And it could have been a $10 million company and it could have been a $750 million company. Virtual card, although the volumes are, are quite large, um, is still a relatively new idea when it comes to uh, modality of payments within the AP department. Um, so really what Com Data is after, if I were to give you the two or three sen sentence elevator pitch of what we're doing with this type of solution, is we're giving companies a fourth payment modality to put into their tool belt for paying vendors. So today, you are likely paying your bills or paying your invoices with check, ACH, or wire. And what we're doing is we're saying, hey, you know, Terillium and Con Data have come together and built this integration to now give you this fourth way of paying vendors and paying your bills when applicable and when accept acceptable, right? So we do the work on the front end for you. We built that integration tool for you guys to utilize after a very smooth and quick integration process to turn this functionality on and remit payment out when acceptable and earn cash rebate on those dollars spent. So that's, that's one of two massive takeaways that, that I want you guys to hear, um, you know, as a positive benefit impacting uh, the bottom line for turning this functionality on is every dollar that goes out via a virtual card, you're going to earn a cash rebate on. Um, and that's obviously, you know, important and, and beneficial because, the AP um, house within an organization is typically a cost center, and this really affords that um, entity or that piece of the organization the ability to become uh, a revenue generator. So uh, to double click into the education piece of this, when a vendor of yours agrees to accept a virtual card from you, essentially what they're saying is, 
yes, we will take virtual card from company A unconditionally, which means that they're not going to charge you any additional fees. They're not going to relieve discounts they may have awarded you, et cetera. They're basically just saying that, yep, we'll take a virtual card from you, Mr. Company, instead of how you've been paying us historically, um, perhaps via check, ACH, or wire. What happens when a vendor agrees to accept that virtual card from you, the new Calm Data client, they are going to immediately receive a welcome email to an address that they have given us where they would like that payment to be remitted. So oftentimes it's going to be, you know, AR at companya.com or credit card payments at companya.com. That welcome email is going to be branded with your logo, your contact information, perhaps the name of your program, um, Company A Fast Pay program. Right. And it's also going to come along with the first six digits of a credit card number that's unique to your virtual virtual card program here at ComData. And the vendor who is now going to begin accepting virtual card from you is going to keep that on file. Um, so the AR folks that I've talked to are pinning these up on the wall or perhaps keeping them in a folder um, along with some other um, welcome emails for other companies that they're accepting this method of payment from. And every time you go to remit virtual card payment to them directly out of JD Edwards, they're going to receive another email to that same email address with the remaining credit card information necessary to process a payment for a specific dollar amount that's good one time, and it's typically expiring within 30 or 60 days. So it's very important to note that because we divide it up into two email remittances, and the, 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 uh, the subsequent information that's delivered on the second email is different for each and every single payment. This is just as, if not safer, than a physical check. Also important to note that you control delivery of this payment modality. So you are instructing Condata to create a virtual card directly out of JD Edwards. It's by no means handing over control uh, of flow of funds to Com Data. You're in complete control still. So at the end of the day, really all we're after here is pulling the check or the ACH or the wire out of the payment life cycle, if you will, and inserting the virtual card. So we're simply changing the modality for a percentage of your payments going out the door, allowing you to earn cash rebate on those payments. Uh, and hopefully um, some hard and soft cost savings associated with no longer having to send physical checks, uh, you know, out the door or to the, to the post office, uh, et cetera. This presents you with a relative process flow um, of what paying somebody with a virtual card looks like. So you're going to submit a payment or a number of payments um, to Condata directly out of JD Edwards. Um, you could be sending one virtual card to one vendor, um, or you could be sending hundreds of virtual cards out to hundreds of, hundreds of vendors, depending on what that particular week uh, or that particular cycle's payment file looks like. When that file is remitted to Condata, uh, much like a positive pay file to a bank instructing on AC pay, ACH payments is remitted, same idea, if you will. Uh, we receive that information uh, behind the scenes and within 30 seconds of receiving that information, um, virtual cards have been created and remitted out to uh, your vendors on your behalf to email addresses that they have given to our vendor enrollment callers who have um, asked whether or not they're willing to accept from you on your behalf. So by the time you click go uh, in JD Edwards or, or send or whatever that particular, particular radial read, um, you could pick up the phone and call whoever it is you're delivering payment to, and by the time you get them on the phone, um, they should have received that payment. They can immediately key in that information to accept those dollars just like they would any other credit card payment. From there, uh, the, the vendor is going to process the card, and it's going to move through the credit card reconciliation process just like um, how you or I swipe our card at the grocery store and it moves from authorized to posted status. So that piece looks no differently. And then uh, on the end of, of um, this process flow, 
as those transactions post, ComData is going to pass that data back to you um, for your reconciliation purposes, and then that information is brought back into JD Edwards. Important to note here um, that there are a number of point of contacts to assist you guys in understanding this process flow. So please don't be worried that we would, you know, quote unquote, onboard you and throw you to the wolves. That is not how we operate here. Um, ComData and Trillium have been through these implementations together. Um, and even further um, than that, I would, I would argue that we have a number of project managers who uh, sit in our corporate headquarters here in Nashville and do nothing but implement virtual card accounts all day long. Um, so they are beyond privy to the concerns uh, and weariness that sometimes comes along with a company implementing this type of program for the first time. Um, and, and I think we do that piece of this work better than any of our competitors out there. And I say that after five plus years uh, in, in this space. So this gives you an idea of what your vendors will see when you begin paying them with a virtual card. The cool thing about a virtual card remittance is they receive all of the transaction detail and all of the information that they would otherwise receive with a physical check stub. That's very important in a strong selling tool when a vendor is deciding whether or not to take virtual card from you as method of payment. That's also a strong t selling tool for um, perhaps onboarding new vendors as you guys grow as a business and suggesting to them that virtual card is your preferred method of payment. You can show them what the payments look like. You can show them the level of detail they get. Um, it becomes much less of a headache for them to reconcile these payments than it would be searching through a, a, a checking account a business checking account for a line item, uh, specific dollar amount, et cetera. Also important to note that uh, we pass along generalized reconciliation files with all of our uh, email credit card remittances, um, which can be used to download that information in a format that can be brought back into the vendor's ERP for uh, reconciliation. So that's an industry standard format. We're one of the few providers out there in the marketplace who pass that information along with a credit card remittance, but important to note that it's something um, certainly worth suggesting to the folks who you're attempting to pay with this modality. Um, again, you'll see that uh, all of our remittances are customized with your information. Um, so, you know, this really is your program. ComData, more so than anything else, is simply just the vehicle by which you are delivering these payments. Um, and this will also detail out um, the, the remaining credit card information that's necessary to process that payment. And no two remittances that a vendor receives or any of your vendors receive for that matter uh, are going to look alike. So all of those numbers are going to be different every single time. Um, and, and you know, that's obviously for security, but above and beyond that, that's adhering to federal regulations to remain what we call PCI compliant. So to get into the sweet sauce of what ComData does better than anybody else, aside from the few line items that you've heard me reference already, is really what we strive to do here. Uh, it, it, what we strive to do here is to give you what we call the 3X factor. Anybody can implement a, a virtual card solution amongst our competitive landscape, um, but I feel very confident in saying that we are able to enroll more spend on that virtual card program than any of our competitors out there. Um, our data proves that. I think our data proves that when you compare it to um, some of our closest competitors amongst the landscape. And this is impactful to you because it essentially means more rebate. Um, and it also means more hard and soft cost savings um, associated with uh, the AP unit in, in your business. We do this uh, in a couple of different ways. Um, that, that we'll get into here in, in a second. So vendor enrollment uh, is the primary driver uh, of this multiplier. So you've heard me talk about a virtual card. This runs on MasterCard Rails. You've heard me say that we're MasterCard's largest uh, virtual card issuer in North America. This is the primary method by which a virtual card is delivered. But we have a couple of other different facets. So if you remember, the primary uh, vehicle for delivery is this MasterCard virtual card. They received a welcome email with those first six digits. And then every time you go to pay that vendor subsequently, they're receiving another email remittance. They marry the two and process the payment. But there's a couple other methods of payments 
um, receiving uh, that fall into our solution for you to utilize at no cost and in an effort to bolster you from that 1x to 3x level of spend you see on these types of programs. Pay for you um, is, is just, it's awesome. So what we've done um, over the years is we've realized that there's a lot of spend out there in the marketplace to be had uh, that, that wasn't being had by our, our competitors. And what, the way we discovered that was there's, there's a number of vendors out there who are willing to accept credit card, but they will not accept credit card via email or email. So to give you a real world example, I would suggest Verizon Wireless. So you or I can go to verizonwireless.com and pay our cell phone bill with a credit card, but I cannot email them credit card information, right? But I, I can pay it through a portal or over the phone. So what Calm Data has done is we've built this team called Pay For You. They're in-house here in Nashville. Uh, it's about 80 people now. And what they do is they make these types of payments for you on your company's behalf all day long. So all the Verizon wirelesses of the world, the waste management of the world, uh, larger telecom utility providers, et cetera, who will take credit cards but will not take it via email remittance, you can immediately begin paying them with credit card via our Pay For You tool, and that's free of charge. We do that for you on your behalf all day long. Two important points to make there is, number one, you start earning cash rebate on those payments that you were not earning cash rebate on prior because you're likely – uh, paying with, with check ACH wire. Number two, if you are paying them currently with credit card, cash rebate aside, um, whether or not that's new uh, or, or an incremental addition to, to what you're receiving today on your current credit card platform, what we can do here is we can take that manual process for you off of your back. So somebody in the AP world today uh, is likely logging into a Verizon account and into a waste management account and into a uh, property management account, et cetera, and making those payments. Uh, it's time consuming and on an aggregated basis, it's, it's costly. We'll take it off of your shoulders. And when you remit payment out of JD Edwards, it looks no different than a standard uh, MasterCard virtual card payment. It leaves your environment just the same, but instead of landing uh, with a vendor in a vendor's email address. It lands on our pay for use uh, team's desk downstairs. It does take them a couple days uh, to, to process it. They typically have a two to five day SLA, um, but it's, it's widely used and, and uh, clients rave about it. That team does uh, somewhere around $130 million a month in volume for clients today. So the third uh, and fourth option here are Calm Data Direct and our merchant services uh, category. Calm Data Direct is a proprietary method of payment that companies can choose to use if they'd like to, for lack of a better word, force a, a vendor's hand into accepting electronic payment. So what Calm Data Direct um, really does is it gives companies who are advantageous in moving the needle towards 100% paperless pay the ability to say to a vendor, okay, Mr. Vendor, we realize that you don't want to accept MasterCard because there's fees associated with accepting MasterCard. We have this second option for you. It's called Calm Data Direct. You can accept an electronic payment for us at a lesser rate. Um, and, and, you know, that's our way of, of proposing a compromise. And if this doesn't work for you because we're looking to move towards 100% paperless pay, um, you know, we may have to consider another vendor for materials, um, et cetera. Right, so so this is a tool for um, you to utilize at your discretion. Um, again, um, tens of millions, if not hundred million plus dollars a month, going out uh, on this platform, and it, it's it's an interesting way for you guys to get rid of as much paper moving across your desk as possible. And then, last but not least, um, oftentimes our vendor enrollment callers will will reach out to a vendor on your behalf and discover that. You know, vendor A is willing to accept MasterCard, but they don't accept it today. So on the fly, our vendor enrollment callers can help them get set up to uh, accept MasterCard if that's something they want to do. Um, if not, we obviously don't press the issue. We just simply say, okay, that's a note for you guys. Appreciate it. And we move on.
So this just double clicks into uh, the pay for you functionality. Uh, again, it, this this is, in my opinion, um, just a massive reason why a prospective client would choose us over another provider. To my knowledge, nobody else out there in the space today is doing this. And cash rebate aside, I think that the process improvement uh, functionality that this could award to your company uh, is just <clears throat> awesome. And then last but not least, uh, what adds to that multiplier that you get when you choose ComVeda is the people. Um, I'm in this building. I work out of our corporate headquarters. I've come to know uh, the people that are responsible for implementing these types of programs. Um, I hear their conversations day in and day out. It's literally all that they do. So the sales rep that you would talk to here at ComData, who would facilitate the front end of your conversation about a virtual card program uh, and or a physical plastic corporate card purchasing program, is literally one of seven or eight direct points of contact that you get when you choose ComData as your virtual card provider. Um, and, and that makes all the difference in the world. So when you choose us, you don't have to call into 1-800 customer service numbers, you get direct points of contact, you get email addresses, and you get direct telephone numbers. And that is important when somebody's turning on one of these programs and this type of functionality for the first time. Because like I said early on, it is um, new, and there is going to be a learning curve to it. And you know, you're, you're, you're changing something. Um, and, and it's nice to have a lifeline who you can reach out to uh, and ask for help uh, when it's needed. Beyond the implementation process and beyond the quote unquote go live milestone, part of that seven or eight points of direct contact is lifetime support. <clears throat> so virtual card clients here at ComData get account managers and relationship managers who are responsible for making sure your programs are doing what you expected them to do for the life of your program with us. So we're not just going to, um, you know, implement you, go live with you, and move on. It's very much a, we keep an eye on you, and we make sure your program is doing what it's supposed to do and doing what you thought it was going to do throughout the life of the program. Um, and then above and beyond that, really what we try to do is we try to help you grow the program. Um, so as your business matures and as the volume of AP grows, we're interested, obviously, in capturing as much new spend as we can get. Um, so we do that through continuous vendor enrollment. We ask to be involved, um, as involved as you want us to be, uh, in onboarding all new vendors and pitching Com Data or virtual card is the preferred method of payment. It benefits you, obviously, to grow that amount of, of cash rebate that you're getting monthly. It benefits you uh, in the potential hard and soft cost savings associated with not having to pay with a physical check or perhaps paying a transaction fee on every ADCH or wire that goes out the door. Uh, and then it obviously benefits us as well, right? So if these programs aren't successful and you guys aren't happy and you guys aren't utilizing them, um, you know, we're not paying paying the bills. So it behooves us to, um, you know, stay attached to them and, and build relationships with our clients to make sure that they're satisfied for as long as their customers. So again, this goes into uh, the detail on, on who your support staff is um, when you choose us as a provider. And, um, you know, I, I think more than anything else, I, I, I can't stress enough the importance of um, the relationship between Trillium and ComData in providing you, the prospective mutual client, uh, a, a better, smoother, easier, simpler experience in turning on a, a virtual card program, particularly so if you don't have one in place today. Um, we do the groundwork for you. We remove a lot of the headaches associated with what otherwise would be called uh, an integration experience on the front end of this type of program. So if this type of relationship isn't in place today, you could easily add two or three weeks or a month plus onto um, the implementation experience. But we recognize the importance of, of uh, simplifying the experience for, for a prospective client on the front end, and it's proven to be successful, and it's literally my full-time uh, job to make sure that these um, relationships are healthy and um, you know, presented to the prospective mutual client base. 
um, for the taking. So Laurel and Dan, that's that's from a collateral perspective, um, really all that I, I thought pertinent to review on the fly in live. Um, I'm curious if there's any questions that came through that we might be able to answer while we've got everybody on the line. Um, and then subsequently, obviously, I'm hoping that you're going to be able to pass um, this PDF uh, collateral to them after the call, and they can feel free to, um, you know, reach out uh, in, in the, the next day or two if they're immediately interested in conversation. Hi, Jason. Yeah, that's um, definitely, that's a good idea. We can definitely share the PDF um, with everybody afterwards. Um, we do have a few questions that have come in. Before we get to those, I'd love to share an upcoming event real quick with everybody on the phone. Um, but So both Calm Data and Terillium are hosting um, an event next month on um, during the Collaborate Conference in San Antonio, which uh, many on the line today are probably familiar with Collaborate. It's the biggest J.D. Edwards conference of the year. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We're having, um, like I said, a joint event with Com Data and some of our other partners on Monday night at the Briscoe Western Art Museum to be um, a really fun time. It's right on the River Walk there in San Antonio. Um, so if you haven't already, if you're attending the conference and you haven't already RSVP'd, um, please shoot us an email and we'll get you um, signed up for that. Um, Terillium also has a booth at the conference, booth number 659. Stop by and say hello if you're there. And uh, we also have several educational sessions we'll be presenting. If you visit terillium.com slash blog, you can um, find all of those there. Um, okay, so um, yeah, jumping back to questions. Thanks again, Jason and Dan. That was a lot of Good content. Um, we did have a couple of questions come in. One being, um, can you please go into what the supplier has to do in order, this is for you, Jason, <laughs> um, what it has to do in order to convert the MC payment to cash into their bank account? Do they need to already be able to process credit card payments? And what cost is there to the supplier? Yeah, so <clears throat> that's a great question. So yes, they need to be set up to accept uh, MasterCard, right? And, and if they're not set up to accept it with a merchant um, acquire, they, they can quickly get set up to accept MasterCard on the fly with our vendor and only callers. But they are going to accept this payment just like they would any other credit card payment today. Um, so if somebody is set up to accept MasterCard, they are set up to do that with an acquirer. Um, that's their own relationship that's, you know, um, completely agnostic of, of com data. So it makes no difference to us how they're accepting those credit cards. It's just whether or not they are accepting. Um, if they're accepting, um, they're basically just going to key that information into most likely an online portal and, and perhaps even still a physical terminal, right? Just like they would any other what we call non-card present transaction. Then that card payment is converted to cash in their bank account, um, typically within 24 to 48 hours of that transaction posting. So if they key that transaction <clears throat> excuse me, into their portal on a Monday, they'll probably have cash by Wednesday. Um, if they're accepting MasterCard, they are obviously doing so at a fee. Um, it's very hard to give you um, a, a specific one-size-fits-all answer to what they're paying to accept credit cards because everybody's relationship um, to accept card is different and negotiated, obviously, but um, I would feel pretty confident in telling you that they're probably paying somewhere between 2.2 to 2.5% um, on what we call an effective rate. So their overall monthly rate or cost of accepting card, if you will. So um, for every $100 that they accept, um, they're receiving, what's the math on that? 9750-ish settling in their bank account. So 2.2 to 2.5%. That's something that they pay. Uh, it's pre-negotiated. It's obviously their cost of doing business. Um, so what we're after is really whether or not they're willing to accept MasterCard unconditionally from you. So 
if you were paying them 10 grand before on a check, you're just going to immediately begin paying them 10 grand on a virtual card. Um, they're just agreeing to accept. And if it's a yes, we record it and we report that back to you. And if it's a no, we record it and move on. And it's business as usual for you paying them with check ACH or wire. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you for that, Jason. Um, Dan, this question came in for you. Um, does the JD Edwards integration require any customization? Well, no. What you can accomplish everything to fulfill the integration just with some basic setup, and then it would require that we install some custom objects. So, Terillium has our own JD Edwards system code. So we would evaluate just to confirm that it doesn't interfere with any existing objects, but because it's our own uh, uh, system code that Oracle assigned to us, there shouldn't be any objects with that name in the system. And once those were installed, then that gives us the programs needed to build the output files that we send to ComData. But as far as any modifications to the base software or anything else, it is not required. It's all accomplished with setup. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, last question we've got for now. Um, reminder for everybody on the line, if you have any questions, um, please go ahead and send those in. We've still got a few minutes left here, but one more question for you, Jason, um, on the rebate, and that is how, how does the rebate work? Yeah, so we pay rebate on every dollar from dollar one. We pay it in cash and we pay one month in arrears. Um, so typically rebates for this program start around 1% and go up from there based on your volume uh, and your terms that you've negotiated with Condata. Uh, but I feel pretty confident saying the floor is probably around 1% um, <clears throat> and it's on every dollar in cash. Great. Okay. Thank you. Well, that is all the questions we have for now. I want to thank Dan and Jason again um, for their presentation and especially thank everybody who joined us today. Thank you for the time and um, we hope you have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody's time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.